Hello, this is Purple Rosa and I'm continuing on with the main quest in Elsewhere. So I was up to going to Jode's core and the Moon Gate as the Betrayer aligned the moon so the eclipse would happen, which is coming and me and Kimura could not stop it and undo what the Betrayer did. But yes, we killed the Betrayer and turns out that Cadwell is not really dead, which I am happy about. So now we have to go gather our companions in preparation for going to Jode's core. <sighs> so much to do, so little time. So first we will talk to Prefect Kalo. Oh, he's in his armor again. He looks hot in his armor. <laughs> The quiet moments between battles. I like to spend the time catching up on my reading. History, military strategy, recipe books. My secret pleasure is a good mystery, though. And the new Investigator Veil vale is a real page-turner. Oh, you like Investigator Veil, vale, do you? Kimura wants us to gather at the Moon Gate of Anequina. I've been waiting for the order to move out. I sent most of the Cygnus Irregulars on ahead with Garish Ri. But a small contingent remained here in case our earlier guess was wrong. I assume events in the ruins confirmed our theory? Yes, I killed the betrayer, but not before he set the moons in motion to open the moon gate. Understood. We need to defend the moon gate and stop the dragons from using it when it opens. Keep them from reaching Jode's core. Well, at least now we have a mission. I just hope the Khajiit can get over their aversion to working with my troops. I have, so they should too. Has there been much trouble integrating your forces with the Khajiit? Queen Euraxia's tyranny made the Khajiit wary. I don't blame them for that. I just want to show them that not all Imperials are tyrants, that they can trust at least a few of us. It will come, as long as we don't turn on each other first. It will come, it will come. I'll see you at the Moon Gate. Cool. I do like Prefect Kalo. I know I was wary about him before, but I've changed. My opinion has changed by his actions. And as he just said before, you can't judge all Imperials' actions by one tyrant because, like Abnathan, can't judge him by his past actions because he's redeemed himself as well. Speaking of Tharn, he's the next one we talk to. And he's drinking. <laughs> Wine used to rejuvenate me after periods of intense exertion and spell casting. Now I can barely taste the stuff. A good thing too. Kajiti wine is cloyingly sweet, like drinking candy plums boiled in moon sugar. I presume you have news? I do. Kimura wants us to gather at the Moon Gate of Anequina. The Moon Gate? A noble but futile proposition, I fear. The Khajiit should pack up and flee while they still can. Let the Alliance armies deal with this. Show them some fights are more important than deciding whose posterior best fits the ruby throne. True, but the Alliances won't help in time they'll just bicker like they currently are but Tharn are you suggesting we give up no no just pondering other options too much of what we're facing was the inadvertent result of my actions or the actions of my family dragons Euraxians necromancers the responsibility falls to me and balance must be restored it falls to us so you're still with us? Would you stand a chance otherwise? Without my arcane and strategic insights, anything you try is destined to fail. I won't have that on my conscience. Now, allow me to finish this sickeningly sweet inebriant. One last indulgence before the end. I'll see you at the Moon Gate. By the way, I believe I understand the purpose of the Dragonhorn. 
After much consideration, the use and function of the ancient instrument has become clear. The Dragon Guard were clever. I'll say that for them. You know how to use the Dragon Horn? Theoretical knowledge isn't the same as practical experience, but I believe I understand the fundamentals of its operation. The Dragon Guard prepared a horn taken from a massive dragon and engraved it with arcane runes, giving it astonishing power. Oh, so the dragon horn is actually a dragon's horn? <laughs> oh yes, I'm fairly certain of that. And I found historical references indicating the dragon guard gifted such relics to key locations. For their protection, you see. The one you located was originally in Rimen before it was moved to the sanctuary. So how do we use it? We have neither the time nor resources to move the large relic, but the small horn you brought back, it's called a combat horn, by the way, was designed to be carried into battle. Once charged with energy, its sound weakens dragons. Oh, so that's what it does. Kamira charged the horn at the Shadow Dance Temple. One problem solved, then. The next is sheer age. This ancient combat horn is exceedingly fragile. I'm not sure how many times we can sound the horn before it disintegrates into dust. For that reason, I suggest we save it until we absolutely need it. I agree. So, hmm. For some reason, I'm thinking Cal grunted the big green dragon leader will get his power back, but I'm hoping I am wrong. <laughs> What's Cadwell doing under here? Oh, he's having a bath. Well, a shower. Hello. Come to partake in a before the battle cleansing. I find it prudent to make myself pristine prior to the start of a slaughter. In my experience, the subsequent blood and gore adheres much better to a well laundered body. Okay. Kamira wants us to gather at the Moon Gate of Anequina. The Moon Gate? I hope to wash away the memories of the betrayer, but some stenches can't be removed with soap and water. I'm sorry I made the moons move, my friend. Sorry I helped the dragons. That was the betrayer, not you. But before I became the gallantly gaunt, soul shriven form you see today, I was the betrayer. I originally did all the terrible deeds that led us to this place. I'm... I'm rather ashamed. Dash it all. Mm, but you've changed. So help us fix this. Help us stop the dragons from reaching Jode's core. Yes, of course. That was my plan all along. Make up for my past atrocities by helping the nice cat people defeat the evil dragons. Just like the hero I was before I became the betrayer. tally -ho, then. I'll head to the moon gate now and meet you there. I'll see you at the moon gate. As nice as these facilities are, I miss the boiling plasm pools of cold harbor. Hot enough to melt the skin right off your bones. What an invigorating sensation. Okay. Won't the water rust your armor? And your point is? That's my point. <laughs> yeah. Glad Cadwell's with us. I was so sad when I thought he died. I was so torn. But he's not dead. So, who's the last companion? Zamorak. I kind of like this pre chat with the companions before the big fight, so to speak. Quiet moments to meditate have been rare since Zamarak returned to elsewhere. This one needed some time alone, especially after helping Tharn with the dragon at the Shadow Dance ruins. But you look like one who has important news, my friend. I do. Kamira wants us to gather at the Moon Gate of Anequina. 
Zamorak suspected that would be our next destination. This one noticed that the moons have shifted in the sky, moving in a way that breaks their usual pattern. The betrayer's doing, yes? At least you and Queen Kamira returned from the ruins. The betrayer set the moons to eclipse, but we killed him and Kamira is now attuned to the lattice. Then we still have a chance. Zamarak has pledged his honor to Queen Kamira. He will not break that vow. This one has a purpose again and will see it through no matter the cost. Zamarak will meet you at the moon gate, my friend. I'll see you at the moon gate. Queen Kamira, attuned to the lunar lattice. Zamarak never expected to see such a miracle in his lifetime. This one prays that it will be enough when we stand against the dragons. I hope so too. Speaking of dragons, what happens after Kamira and I entered the temple? About what you would expect. Tharn used flashy spells to confuse the dragon until it finally gave up and flew away. Then, we encountered the squad of Euraxians led by a necromancer. Those Zamarek dispatched. It was the least this one could do. Nice. But Mulan Mir is still alive and out there. Mulan Mir is the blue dragon. So now that we've had the pre-chat with all our companions, let's go to the moon gate and get this rolling. For some reason, I think Cal Gontid is going to get at least some of his power back. Because there's still a few dragons out there and we can't kill them all by ourselves. So the moon gate is down there. Let's head that way. But yeah, I'm really excited to see what happens to the moon gate. I wonder if we'll actually see the Jode's core and what that will look like. And I wonder if we'll get to see the eclipse as well because that would be cool. <laughs> Uh, so up here, yeah. the moon gate of a neck winner. Let's go. Wonder what's gonna happen. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh, look at it. So we'll have to pilgrimage up to the moon gate I guess. <laughs> I'm excited. Cyclists regulars are here. Yushiha. Oh! Yushiha has come to return her debt to you. Zumag Fum is dead, but those he served still seek to ruin all we hold dear. What strength there is in my blood is yours to command. How have you been? Returning to the world has not been easy. Very little is as she remembers. She does not belong here. Yet she has nothing and no one to return to. Yushiha would be adrift if not for the need to avenge her clan. It is the only purpose she has now. Are you upset that I was the one to kill Fum? Yushiha is not Rakaja. She has no desire to spill blood, only an obligation to right a wrong. Zumag Fum will never desecrate another Khajiit soul. That is all that matters. A lot more blood will be spilled before this is done. Yushiha has no fear of the fighting to come. It is the time after all her battles are done that gives her pause. Her focus remains on the fight alone. Then fight well. So yeah, Yushida we met at... What's the Weeping Scar? She is a vampire. And yeah, the Cygnus Irregulars are here. Everyone has arrived. Report to Prefect Kalo Five Claw while I confer with the Queen. Yeah, give me a minute. Who's Beros? 
don't know who he is. See if there's any other people we know here. Kajichi Defense Force is here. The Zamorak. Look how the moons converge in the sky. The time is not right for such an event. The lunar lattice has been altered, causing Joan and Jode to merge. Legends say that this occurs when a dragon eats the moon. This one hopes that is only a legend. Oh yeah, let's hope. Oh yeah, look at them! Well... An eclipse is an eerie sight, but where are the dragons? Yes, where are the dragons? So yeah, that looks, it looks cool, but... Oh look, and the moon gate! Oh, look how big the moon gate is. That's huge. So, where's Abnasan? The moons come together and the sky grows dark. Ominous, isn't it? And strangely beautiful. Where are the dragons, though? And the remaining Euraxians? I assume they would have started their push for the moon gate by now. Yeah, this is eerie and weird. The moons look cool behind him though. Are you ready for this? As ready as we can be. The Kashidi militia and the Cygnus irregulars have taken defensive positions along the path up to the moon gate. And whatever siege weapons we could get our hands on are set to repel the dragons. So you think we can stop the assault? Not a chance. We only hope to slow them enough to give Tharn and Kamira the time they need to stop the moon gate from opening, or find a way to shut it if all else fails. If the dragons don't reach Jode's core, we win. Wait, <gasps> what's that noise? Oh no, it's beginning. You hear something? <gasps> dragons, go join me <gasps> and Kamira. I'll take charge down here. I'm going. Zamarak will go with you. Get those fires out and ready the ballistic. Move it, soldiers. Hope Kalo doesn't die. Please don't die. Oh, there's Cadwell. Time for reckless audacity and dunning do. Okay. Good luck, Cadwell. Ascend the moon gate. Where's Kamira, though, and Athan? I thought they'd be with me unless they're already the up. Axios. The wall has been breached. Kill the cats and the traitors! You're the traitors. Up there. More Euraxians. Okay. Might be an ambush. Here they come. Prepare yourself. I'm prepared. More soldiers. Take them down. I'm taking them. I'm taking them. What? Surprise! Yay, Cadwell! Good I job. I do enjoy cutting blackguards down to size. The path is clear. We need to reach Queen Kamira. Uh, I'm kind of envious of Cadwell's teleporting ability. <gasps> the defense force! Oh! <gasps> Ganesh Ree, no! <gasps> Where is he? Stay with oh me, no. old master. Garish Ree. Garish Ree still breathes, but his injuries are serious. He needs a healer. In the meantime, Zamarak knows what he must do. What do you mean? With Garish Ree injured, someone else must take command of this position. Make sure the Euraxians and the dragons encounter enough resistance to slow them down. That task now falls to Zamarak. Are you sure about this? 
Yes, my friend. This is Zamarak's chance to finally atone for his past mistakes. Wait, what is this? The Dragonhorn. This one doesn't know why Garishri was carrying this. But you must take it and reach the Moon Gate. Queen Kamira needs you. I'll guard the Dragonhorn and join up with Kamira. Good luck. Go. Now, Five Claw. I hope Garish Free's alright. But yeah, the, ooh, the moons are getting closer together. Gotta get the horn to Chimera. More Uraxians. Hmm. <gasps> Maybe I should have fought left instead of right. Let's try that again. That was Mulan Me we saw. Oh look, there's the moon gate. Hooligans, old trout. <laughs> Go Canwell. Let's get to Amda before the moon's completely alive. Yes, let's. Look at the moon gate. It's amazing. But yeah, let's continue on. Need to get to Amna Tharn and Chimera. Uh oh. Oh, they're nearly aligned. I'm running out of time. Ugh. I love this, the urgency of it. Oh, that's so pretty though. Come at me. I need to screenshot that because it's pretty. Getting closer. I don't think we're gonna stop it in time. <gasps> it's Mulan Mir. No! My won't hold much longer. The dragon horn fire. You have it. Quick, quick! I've used it. Are you alright? The moons have aligned and the gate has opened. Chimera definitely gained something at the temple, but she hasn't figured out how to control it. You were with her. Talk to her. See if she can close that aperture before it's too late. Okay. See how the moons align with the ancient gate. The lattice opens a path to Jode's core. But how did you get the dragon horn? Where's Garishri? And why are the sounds of battle so close? Did the Uraxians overrun our defenses? Garishri was injured and the dragons breached the walls, allowing the Uraxians to pour in. Garishri? Hurt? And the Uraxians behind our defenses? This is not good. Not good at all. Well, we still have the dragon horn. At least until the power runs out or the fragile relic falls apart. Ah. I just wish the moons would move for me. I thought the attunement gave you the power to move the moons. The power, yes. But not the knowledge and experience. I will continue to try to move the moons and close the gate. But you will need to keep the Uraxians from taking this position. I am counting on you, Five Claw. You can count on me. I will guard the moon gate. That looks really pretty. Oh! Oh, go Tharn! Oh, this is so cool! What's stopping a dragon from coming though? I 
think Mulan Mei is gonna come back. <laughs> I'm shaking. I'm scared. But yeah, Sean looks cool with his spell power. Come on, Kamira. We need to close the gate. Uh oh, what's that? Chimera, wait! Ah, uh, now we're screwed. We have to stop them. Oh well. Uh oh. So where are we? Uh oh, there's Mulan Mir. He saw us. When I awoke this morning, traveling to the Plain of Jode wasn't on my agenda. So this is the Plain of Jode. Look at it. And yeah, Mulan Mi is just watching us. <laughs> Five Claw, we stand on the sacred Plain of Jode. The dragons went down into the processional. They seek to breach Jode's core. What is this place? From the memories I absorbed at the Shadow Dance Temple, Anequina and the Moon Priests came here to honor the moons and set them on their way after their sacred joining. This is also where she helped Kunzari hide the dragon's power. Ah. I don't understand. Why would the dragons agree to give up their part of the power? Yeah, that's what I don't understand. Here, on the Plain of Jode, the memories become clearer with every passing moment. Kunzari was able to use Kalgrontid's own greed against him. The dragon sought the power of Jode's core from the beginning, but Kunzari offered him even more. What did Kunzari offer Kalgrontid? He offered a way to combine the natural power of Jode's core with the mystic might of his loyal dragons. Kalgrontid's greed was his undoing. Now, he finally has an opportunity to steal all the stored energy for himself. We must stop him. Then let's get down there. Let's go. Oh, look at these fairies. Pixies. I see you watching me, Mulan Mia. Mulan Mia. The vermin still pester us. Devour them. As you say, my brother. Uh-oh. We have to kill Mulan Mew? Who's that? <laughs> Moon Sentinel Guardians. Why are you stopping Moon, us? Still guard this sacred place. We're trying to stop him. The Moon Priests worship new gods now, you insignificant morsels. Oh! So I've used the horn once to stop Mulan Mi attacking San. Continue on. I do like the glowing plants. 
Avoid Mulamir as best you can. Father Vermin. Oh. Well. <laughs> Did not expect that. Oh. Remember, my friend, I am not the battle mage I once was. I need to reserve what magic remains to me for when it will do the most good. Consequently, if we run into any obstacles, I'm going to leave them for you to deal with. Sure. If we must fight, Five Claw, you must be our sword and shield. Both Tarn and I need to preserve what strength we still have for the final battle. I know, I know. <laughs> Gotta reach Jode's core. Jode's core is close. I can feel it. It goes Molanmir. Guess we continue on. <laughs> Mulamnir, Kalgrontid, and Jode's core. Are you ready for this, Chimera? I'm ready. Don't know about you, but I'm ready. <laughs> I'll have to fight Mulamnir, I guess. Jode's core, here we go. <laughs> Kalgrontid is absorbing Jode's core. As long as the moons remain aligned, the power flowing through him is unimaginable. Get me to that platform, Tarn. I can separate the moons using the altars. You must deal with Mulamnir Five Claw. I will divert whatever energy I can into the Dragonhorn, but use it sparingly. I uh, better use it sparingly. You dare to face me, morsel? Yes, I do dare. How can I kill him myself? So he's an electric dragon. Oh, I'm not doing much damage to him at all. I think I might just... Uh, I think I might just range him. You amuse me, little insect. How can I kill him solo? I'm not a dragonborn. Whoa! I do have the dragon horn. Do not let them best you, Mulamnir. Yes, brother. I will make this quick. Uh oh. Do concern. I hide behind here. Oh, whoa! <laughs> Glad I decided to hide. So Kalgronti just powered up. Mulan Mia. That's not good at all. Come down here. Come on. Alright, how do I blow the horn and bring him down? Guess I can't. Source! Shade! Bean! What is that? Oh no! Ah. 
Well, that sucked. Maybe I have to go inside that. At least he doesn't regain health. <laughs> Round two. I could kill him solo. <laughs> this might be a long fight. Do not let them best you, Mulamnir. Oh yep. Yes, brother. I will make this quick. What are those two doing? Do they look pretty cool. Control. Down here, stop being in the air. I dodged that. Come on, <laughs> come down here, Mulanmu. Hurry up, Kamira. Do whatever you're doing. Stop him absorbing power. Okay, I think I have to go inside this time. Source yes. Gene Whoa. Using it. Oh wow. Ouch. So yeah, I had to go in that. <laughs> you have made me angry, pest. Yeah. This is kind of fun. <laughs> the Somerset one was not like this at all was not like this at all. This is really fun. <laughs> Neither was Morrowind. End this, my brother, or I will end you. Ooh. I shall crush these fleas, brother. You have my word. So yeah, Ooh, he's giving me power. We need to stop Cal Grunted. So yeah, I'll stay near the center for the protective spell. The storm Atronach. Where is he? Get inside my shield, or the dragon shout will kill you! So I'm in! Gene you should have said that the first time, Tharn! So this is Tharn's shield. Man is powerful. Quickly! Sound the dragon horn! Glad Tharn's on our side. I better move out. <laughs> die, insect, die! You die first! Sorbatran! 
Oh, wow. Hit me with your wing. <laughs> so that's run. Okay, here we go. Your grown deed, assist me. Oh, he's getting weaker. Oh, it fills me. Oh no. Good job. Yeah, even if we stop Cal Grunted, he's still gonna have the power that is already acquired. Oh, Woo! Another Storm Atronach? No? Air Atronach. Come on, Mulan Mia. Hopefully this last horn kills him. Get into my protective aura now. I'm in it. Thank so you, Zaren. He's still not dead. Good. Thanks for the assist. I will oh. be the equal of Akatosh. Uh oh. I need to finish the ritual. John and Jode, hear me. The power, it belongs to me. Separate and resume your eternal dance. Now, Five Claw, sound the horn. Oh. No. I will not. You did it, Kamir. You ended the eclipse. But that means. The moon gate has closed. We are trapped, yes. But Mulamnir is dead, and Cal Grontit has been defeated. Yes! Oh, hello! Oh! You always find things in the last place you look. Cal Grontit, I wonder. I'm actually pleased to see you, Cadwell. Come, Kamira. Your people await their queen. Thank you, my friends, for everything. For some reason, I don't think Cal Grunted is dead, dead. But we killed Mulan Mia. Stay dead. Stay dead. He actually does look pretty cool. But yeah, Mulan Mia is dead. Screenshotting that. Anyway, let's get out of here. Thanks to Cadwell, we're not trapped. <laughs> but yeah, I don't think Cal Grunted is dead dead. He just went flying up into the air and... Unless I see his corpse... Queen Chimera, have you been injured? I am fine. Just tired. But look... The moons are no longer aligned. Tell me. Tell me about the dragons. The Euraxians. What is the state of our forces? Our scouts tell us that most of the Euraxians and dragons fled when the moons parted. Our own troops have not returned. But the main has sent an envoy. An envoy from the main? Hmm. If you'll excuse me, I have other business to attend to. Huh. So the remaining dragons fled and the Euraxians disappeared. I'll just talk to Tharn if I can. After all this excitement, I could use a nice long lie down. 
Come find me if anything significant requires my attention. Otherwise, I need to be alone for a while. No problem, Than. Your shield spell during Mulan Mir's fight was amazing. You're so powerful. <laughs> but I never doubted you. So yeah, and Garish Ri got injured in the fight up to the Moon Gate. I hope he's all right. We did it, Five Claw. We put the moons back in motion and defeated both Mulanir and Kalgrontid. I, I want to thank you for everything. Elsewhere is safer today because of you. How did you finally figure out how to move the moons? Just being on the plane of Jode clarified the memories I inherited at the Shadow Dance Temple. I saw the ritual in my mind and performed the actions. Oh, too bad the Dragonhorn did not survive. At least it lasted long enough to banish Calgrontid. Are we really sure that we defeated Calgrontid? He seemed extremely powerful at the end. He did grow larger with every infusion of power he absorbed, but the horn dislodged him from Jode's core, which allowed me to finish the ritual and end the eclipse. After that, a concern for another day, yes? I guess, but the power that Calgrontid absorbed, he would still have that. He'll be back. He'll be back. Why did the Mane send an envoy? I cannot be named Queen without the Mane's blessing. That, however, is my worry. For now, you should rest. We must honor our fallen and learn the fate of our troops at the Moongate. And after that, we will celebrate a new dawn for elsewhere. Woo! So the Mane is here. We have accomplished much, my friend. We overthrew the tyrant, Euraxia Tarn, defeated Zumag Foom and the Betrayer, even killed at least two dragons and made the moons move in the sky. If only I could shake this sense of impending doom. We did all of that. Yeah, Calgrunt is going to be back for sure. What kind of impending doom are we talking about? Nothing specific. Not really. I guess this sense of worry will stay with me until I know the fate of Garish Ri, Zamarak, even Prefect Kalo. I would return to the Moongate, but other matters require my attention. Namely, the Envoy of the Main. You think our companions might not have survived the attack on the Moongate? That is just it. I have no idea. Moons, my head bounds. The effort I exerted at Jode's core was not without a cost. Five Claw, could I convince you to determine the fate of my soldiers and our friends? Of course, I want to know if they're alive. You can count on me. I'll find out what happened to our companions and the soldiers at the Moon Gate. I appreciate your assistance, my friend. Find out what happened to Garish Ri and the others, then bring word back to me. Meanwhile, I will try to find a few moments to rest before I meet with the main's envoy or worry about the other dragons. Yeah, because the, there's still... Well, we killed two dragons. Uh, Mulan Mir and there was another one we killed a few stories back. And I think there's about seven in total. So there might be four dragons still in elsewhere. And the seventh one is Calgrontid. We don't know if, about him yet. Isn't the dragon threat over now? Far from it. But without Calgrontid and Mulamnir to lead them, they are solitary beasts without a grand plan. Colossal, dangerous beast to be sure, but not the overwhelming force they were under their dragon leaders. It's hard to believe that all this started with an ancient Khajiiti legend. True, we've come a long way. There is little difference between myth and history for the Khajiit Five Claw. 
Whether Euraxia discovered the Kunzari stories and that led them to the Betrayer's head, or Zumog Fum reanimated the head and then learned the tales, who can say? Who can say? So we gotta go back to the Moon Gate, I think. No. Over there. But yeah. We stopped him absorbing the power. And we killed Mulanmir, but there's still some of Kalgrontage dragons out there, which we'll probably have to kill. But yeah, that was really fun dragon fight. I really enjoyed that. That was fun and different. So I'm going to end this one here and we will continue this on in the next one. I will see you around. Thanks for watching.